time he got Wendy Williams fired because we were out there that whole weekend and Wendy Williams had released uh, some pictures of Puff and it appeared that a man was pulling down his pants. What actually happened was is that um, Wendy Williams, she got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy and she was saying on air that she was going to reveal the picture. And what was in the picture? We were in Cancun and we were on our way to the Island of Women. For whatever reason, dude was playing with Puff. He went behind him and grabbed his trunks and pulled them down. A radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. You know, what's worse, you know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that shouldn't you shouldn't have to deny it's it. It's not surprising that maintaining a facade of heterosexuality would clash with possessing explicit photos suggesting otherwise. Recently, Wendy Williams stirred up a storm by delving into Diddy's life, shedding light on his ongoing struggles. Williams, renowned for her candid commentary, ignited controversy by hinting at a revealing photo featuring two nude men, one possibly being Diddy. While initial reactions may dismiss this as mere gossip, Williams is known for substantiating her claims with solid evidence. Adding fuel to the fire, Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, stepped forward, corroborating aspects of the scandal. His testimony lent credence to Williams' assertions. Moreover, musician Jaguar Wright entered the fray, Lynn apologetically calling out high-profile figures like Diddy and Alicia Keys. In a world where silence often reigns supreme, Wright's boldness in exposing controversial truths is noteworthy. Gene Deal's alignment with Wright suggests a growing consensus among insiders regarding Diddy's involvement. The convergence of multiple sources underscores the gravity of the situation. While scandals are no stranger to the world of celebrities, the implications of these revelations on Diddy's public image are profound. As the internet buzzes with speculation, the veracity of Williams' claims gains traction. In essence, what initially appeared as salacious gossip is increasingly morphing into a legitimate expose. Wendy Williams' willingness to confront uncomfortable truths and the emergence of corroborating testimonies underscore the significance of this unfolding saga. As the storm around Diddy intensifies, the repercussions of these revelations threaten to reshape the narrative surrounding the iconic rapper. People always sending me stuff man they sent me this stuff on Jaguar, right? I salute you goddess a lot of stuff you talking is real. In a Philly club, Deal witnessed the bad boy boss ordering R and B singer Music Soulchild to remove his turban. He refuted Jaguar Wright's claim of being paid to silence, commending her for speaking out. He redirected focus to the present crisis. Meanwhile, Wright accused her ex-boyfriend Xbox of deceitful actions, prompting a closer examination of the allegations. Baby girl listen to me, ain't nobody paid Big Gene off, ain't nobody ran Big Gene off, it's not happening never Brandon never wills never have from nobody or no man sweetheart you're wronged about that so if I've heard you say that twice somebody sent that to me twice so I'm just letting you know baby girl I don't know you personally do you understand but I respect what you do but you are wrong when you tell unless it's another bodyguard have they have big jail you might be speaking about somebody else you're not speaking about big Jean. Deal attempted to counter allegations by Wright and Williams but his defense only fueled their claims he cited witnessing events at Diddy's prompting his turn to religion. Mentioning Mary J. Blige, accused alongside Diddy, Deal invoked Jaguar's accusation of Blige's concealed sexuality. Despite criticism, White persisted, challenging Blige on Instagram. Unfazed, she pursued other celebrities, including Blige, for hiding their true selves. White's determination remained unwavering despite opposition. Mary Jagger said I can produce my own songs I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix I can do those things Mary can you what can you do Mary other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places hoping nobody finds out and if I'm lying sue me Barry. They were my applause. They had to edit in applause because when she came and performed everybody in the MTV studio just sat there and looked at her like she was something in a zoo. Mm. They didn't clap for Mary. They did not clap for Mary at all.
and you need to get over yourself too. That's why you paying Ken do all that money. See, that's 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 your motherfucking problem, bitch. Karma. You ain't nothing but a fucking hood rat who sat there and has tried to get in the way of people who were greater than you. When my album came out, she told the CEO of our company that that little cross-eyed fucker. She told him. It, and this was at the MTV Unplugged Studios She had the dressing room next to mine She was so scared when she came in Cause see when we had rehearsal She went first you know cause she the queen I came later she didn't hear me at rehearsal See she didn't hear what I was coming in to do So when she came in To MTV Studios We were doing the run of show And I had to perform In a follow up video Jane Deal expanded on accusations against Diddy alleging his homosexuality and dubbing him sexually flexible. Deal insinuated Diddy visited a gay bar, suggesting it was Deal's duty to monitor his interactions. These claims bolster the accusations against Diddy. Gene mentioned I know that for a fact because I was right there he said yo Gene, watch the door and don't let nobody come through I said I'll watch the door and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked and I said that ain't nobody told me that I saw that myself I'm telling you what I saw. Gene has contributed to the growing heap of accusations against the music mogul with a shocking interview. He claimed that in the early 2000s, while working for Diddy, he'd accompanied him to an exotic bookstore where Diddy allegedly bought a bag of sex toys for his children. The bag apparently included numerous butt plugs, unsettling many. Gene further disclosed that Diddy intended to bring these toys to Ja Rule's house after a concert in North Carolina. Despite Gene's objections, Diddy remained resolute. The news has sparked a social media frenzy, with people expressing disbelief. However, Jean isn't the sole bearer of intriguing stories. Wendy voiced her discontent with the prevalent homophobia in the hip-hop community. She told me I'm not down with any of that it wouldn't be my man to be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 1980s, too what's worse hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that you know and denial is something that you shouldn't have to deny there were many situations back in the day in my career, and it's all coming full circle now. The ongoing debate about Diddy's sexuality arises again, fueled by his past romantic involvements with notable women like the late Kim Porter, with whom he shares several children. Despite Diddy's assertions of heterosexuality, his actions have sparked speculation. Christian Combs, one of his children, is now venturing into entertainment. Recent events, including a music video appearance, continue to fuel discussion around Diddy's sexual orientation. The rapper has lyrics read sometimes, I ask myself like you know what is it going to take for me not to be afraid to be loved the way like I really want to be loved divided by, but that I know how I really want to be loved, but I'm but I'm like scared to really really feel that you know it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it, maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Hip hop's positive impact is marred by entrenched homophobia, hindering figures like Diddy from openly embracing their sexuality. Despite strides, anti-gay slurs persist, even among enlightened artists like J. Cole. Progress towards inclusivity offers hope.